God is our hope and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. We welcome each and every one of you in this worship service. Today we are in the 15th Sunday after the Pentecost and with the theme we are worshiping with is, in the storms of life, the Lord is near at hand to save. To begin with, let us now sing the first hymn found in the book of Cathedral Praise, hymn number 378, My Faith Unto Thee. And the lyrics can be found on your screens. From the order of the Lord's Supper, section number three. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for this beautiful time that you have given to us, Father, that we are again able to worship your name, Father. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe and healthy all through the past week. And, and Father, keeping us well, Father, so that again, again we'll be able to adore your name, Father. And Lord, as we, as we come in your presence, it is our prayer that may your Holy Spirit be able to guide us and lead us all through, Father. Lord, we want to thank you for this provision which you have provided us, Father, by which we are again be able to connect with our people globally. And Father, as we continue to, serve, you know, to worship your name, Father, it is our prayer that may your Holy Spirit be able to keep this worship service into his caring hands, Father, so that 
we may be we may be kept from all the mistakes we may be kept from also all sort of such things which can create any sort of glitch in the in this worship service father in your most precious name we pray amen the call it almighty father look with mercy on your church which cannot fulfill its ministry without your aid and in all our dangers and necessities stretch out your hand to help and sustain us through jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and ever amen please be seated let us now have the ministry of the word Elijah has to flee for his life to the desert where the Lord speaks to him in a still small voice. The Old Testament reading for this morning's worship is taken from the first book of Kings chapter 19 verses 1 to 13a. I have told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying So may the gods do to me and more also if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow Then he was afraid and he arose and went for his life and came to Beersheba which belongs to Judah and left his servant there But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree and he asked that he might die saying it is enough now o lord take away my life for i am no better than my fathers and he lay down and slept under a broom tree and behold an angel touched him and said to him arise and eat and he looked and behold there was at his head a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water and he ate and drank and lay down again and the angel of the lord came again at second time and touched him and said arise and eat else the journey will be too great for you and he arose and ate and drank and went in the strength of that food 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb the mount of God and there he came to a cave and lodged there and behold the word of the lord came to him and he said to him what are you doing here elijah he said i have been very jealous for the lord the god of hosts for the people of israel have forsaken thy covenant thrown down thy altars and slain thy prophets with the sword and i even i only am left and they seek my life to take it away and he said go forth and stand upon the mount before the lord and behold the lord passed by and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before the lord but the lord was not in the wind and after the wind an earthquake but the lord was not in the earthquake and after the earthquake a fire but the lord was not in the fire and after the fire a still small voice and when elijah heard it he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave this is the word of the lord
The responsive reading has been taken from Psalms chapter 107 verse 23 to 30. Your response shall be God is very present help in trouble. They that went down to the sea in ships and occupied their business in great waters. These men saw the work of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For at his word the stormy wind arose which lifted up the waves thereof. Your response God is very present help in trouble. They were carried up to heaven and down again to the depth. Their heart melted away because of their evil plight. They reeled to and fro and staggered like a drunken man and were at their wits end. Then they car- they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distress. Your response God is very present help in trouble. He made the storm to cease and the waves thereof were still then were they glad because they were at rest and so he brought them unto the heaven where they would be your response god is very present help in trouble James says that God allows us to be tried so that our faith may become mature and strong. Today's second reading is taken from the book James chapter 1 verse 2 to 8. Count it all joy, my brethren, when you meet various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask god who gives to all men generously and without reproaching and it will be given him but let him ask in faith with no doubting for he who doubts is like a wave of sea that is driven and tossed by the wind for that person must not suppose that a double minded man unstable in all his ways will receive anything from the lord this is the word of the lord before the reading of the gospel we shall now be singing our gradual hymn found in the book of cathedral praise hymn number 368 i need thee and the lyrics are on your screens Oh, oh, oh. 
Jesus come to help of the disciples on the lake. Peter discovers that his faith is still weak. The Holy Gospel is taken from Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 14, beginning at verse 22 up to 33. Glory to you, Christ Jesus. Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side. While he dismissed the crowds, and after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was many for long distance from the land. Beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately he spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Have no fear. And Peter, and Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, bid me come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, O man of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You may please sit. So, in the last three weeks, there is an interesting series of episodes from the Gospel of Matthew. We began three weeks ago with a parable. Jesus talking about a sower and four different kinds of fields where the seeds fell. And the last field was the best that received the seed and it was fertile enough to bear the seed and give it growth which bore much fruit. Then the next Sunday we had another episode of Jesus feeding 4,000 people. And then this Sunday we have this episode of Jesus saving Peter from drowning in the sea. So in this these series of episodes, the point what Matthew is trying to say is that Jesus wants us to be receptive to his word like a fertile field. That is to do with our heart and our mind, the internal life of a believer. Then the second episode in the next week, Jesus is giving importance to sustaining our life 
So he feeds the people, 5,000 of them. The body, which is external of our personality, is as important as the internal aspect of our life. That too has to be sustained. The body and soul have to be kept together. So, in this two things, Jesus is being presented to us as the one who can nourish our minds internally, like the seed falling in a furrow of the fertile field, going deep inside. And then Jesus also feeds us, giving nourishment to our body. Today, we see Jesus walking on the water and saving Peter from drowning. So in all these episodes, the point is, Jesus is doing exactly what God did in the Old Testament times in the life of the people of Israel. When the people of Israel were lost in deserts with Moses as their leader, he sustained them with food, with manna from heaven, which they ate every day. And so we read in Psalm 107, we read few verses of it, but if you read the whole psalm, the psalm is very dramatic. The psalm says, God, the people of Israel got into trouble and they cried to the Lord and God came and saved them. Again, the people of Israel were defeated in war and they cried to the Lord in their enslavement and the Lord came and saved them. And the people of God, into God, people of God got into some other trouble and they cried to the Lord and God came and saved them. So the whole Psalm 107, there is a refrain that the Israelites cried to the Lord. They cried to the Lord and the Lord saved them. In this episode today, we see Peter. He cried to the Lord. He got frightened of drowning in the waters and Jesus saved him. Jesus does all that God does in the Old Testament. And so the climax is at the end of the episode when Jesus comes walking on water and he, people think that his disciples think that in the night he is a ghost and then Peter challenges him, can I come to you walk in the water? He walks on water and then Jesus saves him from drowning when he cries to him, when he gets frightened. Jesus then steps into the boat and the sea is calmed down. And it is written here, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. So, that's the climate. The, those in the boat, they worshipped Jesus as they would worship God Almighty. And they said, you are divine. You are the Son of God. So that is what Matthew is trying to tell us. What I want to tell you is that we can understand the power of the living God 
only in the times when we are in trouble and we cry to the Lord and then we see how he saves us. So when we get into trouble, yeah, we as human beings would be frightened, anxious, worried. But then we should cry to the Lord and then we see how he will save us. And this experience of God saving us when we cry to him leads us to worship him. So, for all that God does for us, the way he saves us, we can offer him nothing except for worship. In the Gospels, the reason why they worshipped Christ here at this point was because Jesus Christ, our blessed Lord, he saved them from destruction. So God will save you from destruction through all the turmoils and problems that you may face in life. He will save you from destruction. But that must leave you, lead you to worship him. The greatest glory we can offer to Christ, our blessed Lord, is to worship him and worship him in spirit and in truth. May God bless you all. And now we will say the creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In fulfillment of the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may please sit. And at this time, we will pray for those who are celebrating their birthdays and their wedding anniversaries. And after that, we will have the notices read to us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries and birthdays through this week. Father, we pray that your hand of blessing be on all of them. Father, we pray that you would give them the length of days, help, keep them from all troubles, from all the darts of the evil one that they would be secure, that each day of their life they may experience the power of your love. This prayer we ask in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen.
Very good morning to all of you. The notices. Friends, we are all aware of the situation due to which we are unable to hold today's worship service in physical manner. Yet we are grateful to our Lord for this provision by which we are able to connect with you all and worship our Lord God Almighty in true spirit and one accord. Therefore, we are grateful to all those participants who have helped us in arranging this, this worship service. May God bless you abundantly for your contributions and participations. Please note that from next Sunday, we will resume our regular worship services in the church at regular timings. Offeratory from last Sunday was 63,005 rupees. May God bless you for all your participations and contributions. Let us now have the intercessions. The intercession. Christ, our blessed Savior, is praying for us to his heavenly Father. We join with him to intercede particularly for our teachers and educationists. We thank God for our teachers and our schools in our diocese. May they build up our future generations in Christian values and what they may be hubs of progressive, scientific, ethical, and rational knowledge. Let us pray. Bless our schools and colleges that in them knowledge and sound learning may abound. Let our teachers inspire their students and grant that humility of heart they may always look to you, the fountain of all wisdom. Hear our prayer. Peace with our neighbor country is like, will ensure prosperity of our nation. Let our differences with China be amicably resolved so that trade, tourism, exchange, and safety of citizens would flourish. Violence of war must stop in Palestine and Ukraine. In our own country, let peace be restored in Manipur. May the G20 summit in Delhi succeed in its objective of firming up global economics, mitigating climate change, and strengthening sustainable development. Let us pray. Give wisdom to our president, the prime minister, the chief minister, the lieutenant governor, and the chief minister of Delhi and heads of G20 countries so that under their governance people may live in peace. Law in your mercy, hear our prayer. The church must share the gospel of peace and salvation by her proclamation, presence and service. Let us pray that all Christians would become one family of God in the bond of fraternal love. Let us pray. Guide your servants, Bijoy, our moderator, Dharma Raj, moderator of the Church of South India, Theosius, Metropolitan of the Marthoma Church, and Paul, our bishop. By your grace, they may lead your flock by word and good example in the ways of truth, love, and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us play, pray for the sick and the suffering, especially Anna George, Shireen Cook, Olive Jackson, Shirley Gupta, Honey Williams, Ponnu Thangaraj, Minu Sharma, Noel James, Manmohan Singh Chaudhary, Thomas Davis, Vansh Swami, Cherry Hitter, Minu Peterson, and Paul. Let us pray. 
give peace and patience to those who suffer in body mind and is or spirit give them hope peace and endurance in time of their trouble and may they know the joy of your presence lord in your mercy hear our prayer we remember before you your servants departed this life that with them all your people who have faithfully served you in this life may also share in the eternal joy of your kingdom let us all join together hasten heavenly father the coming of your kingdom and grant these petitions which we offer in the name of your son our savior jesus christ amen Shall we now sing the third hymn found in the book of Cathedral Praise hymn number 505 Sweet Hour of Prayer and the lyrics are on your screens We'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Let us all arise as we take part in Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen.
say our blessings at the end of the service. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. To conclude our today's worship service, we will now be singing the last hymn found in the book of Cathedral Praise, hymn number 400, Trust and Obey, and the lyrics are on your screens. Yeah.